Remember Cop and a Half? I don't. It's Burt Reynolds and some little black kid. <laughs> <laughs> the little kid got to be a cop? Yeah, Burt Reynolds has to like take some black... You don't remember Cop and a Half? No. It was like one of my favorite movies when I was a little kid. I don't remember that. It's just some piece of shit... Burt Reynolds comedy. Yeah, yeah. Did Where it, nothing's funny. I know. There's yeah. not a single good I joke. Would, I would watch it over and over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> I watched There's a Cop movie with Jay uh, Leno. and it's, then, got, it's got 15% on, on Rotten oh, Tomatoes. Yeah. Have you seen that cop movie with Jay Leno and Mr. Miyagi? No. And it takes place in Detroit? That rule. It's psycho. It's on look HBO this, Go right look now. Look at this picture of... Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Hold as shit. He's wearing rose colored glasses. <laughs> Clearly fucked up. Oh, uh, man. Remember that story about him posing nude in Playgirl because he thought it was for women? And then yeah, he yeah. got pissed off that gay guys were jacking off to him. Yeah. Wow, what the hell is this? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be women jacking off to me. <laughs> there was a cop and a half new recruit in 2017. At what with, the what the fuck with what? Lou Diamond Phillips? The, and a girl. They thought that they needed to reboot <laughs> Cop and a Half. Fifteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. No one remembers it. It's no. from when? From like nineteen ninety three. You yeah. know what we should watch? There's a there's a dice movie, The Adventures of Ford Fairlong. Yeah, I've never seen it. I want to watch it. Yeah, I think it's on something. I think I almost watched it, but. I was, with, down, I was with company that was like, no, what the fuck is wrong with you? I would love to watch the Dice movie. <laughs> Day of the Laughter died is amazing. It's my favorite comedy album of all time, easily. It's so good. I've listened to it the most, yeah. more than any other comedy album. Listen, listen to brain. the plot of this fucking movie. Hit me with it. Devin Butler is an eight-year-old boy who lives in Tampa and dreams of being a cop. He <laughs> watches police TV shows, knows police procedures, and plays cops and robbers with his friend. He Ray. killed his own father. One day while <laughs> snooping around in a warehouse. Hell yeah. Already. Yes. What? No one does that. But go yeah. Ahead. He witnesses a murder. <laughs> he goes to the police who want the information, but he refuses to give it unless they make him a cop. Ha <laughs> 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 Well, we have no other choice. But to make him a cop. Yeah. They then team There's him. nothing in the rule book that says. Yeah. They then team him with veteran cop and child hater, Detective <laughs> Nick McKenna. Oh, he hates <laughs> children. Dude, the only scene I remember. Classic the movie, conflict. The only I scene I remember that. in that movie is when they're have, they have a sword fight. So they both pull with their, their dicks. The eight year old boy and Burt Reynolds as a grown man pull their cocks out and sword fight with their piss streams. Wait, really? In the movie, yes. Hell yes. That's yeah. hilarious. Bruce, Burt Reynolds is trying to piss. And the child comes in and goes, sword fight. And then they start sword fighting. <laughs> so Burt Reynolds looks at this child's <laughs> penis <laughs> and pisses on him. <laughs> yeah. What a good-ass movie. Detective Nick McKenna, and they team up in a comic series of events to find the killer and take down a drug kingpin who ordered the hit. Mm. They eventually come to a mutual understanding in order to bring the killer to justice. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Cop and a half. And uh, Problem Child. Problem Child, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that a million times. John Ritter just getting owned by this little yeah. ass kid. Yeah. That movie, 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Problem Child. Child? What? Yeah. I thought that was a great movie. Of course, dude. All the movies you loved as a kid were awful. Damn. Yeah, like Because Austin they're incredibly Powers. simple. And it's yeah. just like 80 minutes of, you know, like... Somebody stuck my dick in my ass. <laughs> yeah. and that sounds like, hilarious. Yeah, just Laxative <laughs> pranks. That gets to be yeah. president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Every one of those movies had a thing where First someone kid? accidentally had laxatives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, all these liberals that are like, how am I going to explain Trump to my son or whatever? And it's like, D Trump as president would make an excellent early 90s children's movie. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I like, mean, he's bad, but they can't stop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he has control of the nukes. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with it? Cheating on his wife <laughs> and eating candy. <laughs> uh, this summer, problem child four. <laughs> problem Ronald, president. Ronald Plump, dude. Take yeah, that, Ronald Plump. Ronald Plump. They dude. defeated him with logic and reason, <laughs> and jacked old men. Yeah, that you definitely don't want to fuck your hold you down and fuck your ass. Those yeah, those two twin brothers. Mm -hmm. They just look like Ken dolls. They yeah. fuck each other. I definitely. forgot Michael Richards was in Problem Child. Oh yeah.